Today's bill was passed thanks to part up to the extraordinary leadership of Gretchen Carlson and other survivors and advocates, as well as Congress, Congressman Lois Frankel and Sherry Bustos and Senator Kristen Gillibrand and Mazzie and Mazi Hirono. You just said, if you could, with a look ahead going forward, um, lay out for us where you think you'll have the most breathing room. Um, is it specifically judicial nominees? Kind of, what's the list of? So of we what, have been very clear that judicial nominees is an, is a priority for this president. That's something clearly that we want to move forward on and continue uh, continue our successes. We you've seen uh, the success of judicial nominees as it relates to this president's uh, first two years, making sure that uh, we have put forth uh, a historic amount of, of black women uh, to, uh, to um, you know, to judgeships. And so the president wants to continue uh, to do that. Our nominations as well, moving forward on that. So that is something that we have said. Those are clearly priorities. Thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, which congressional Republicans want to repeal, four out of five consumers can find a plan that costs $10 or less a month. Additionally, 13 million Americans will continue to save an average of 800 bucks a year on coverage. Open enrollment continues until January 15, 2023 for states using the healthcare.gov platforms. Americans without health insurance or those who need to renew it for 2023 should go to healthcare.gov. On the National Defense Authorization Act, it doesn't include a military COVID vaccine mandate. Is the president's objection to removing that mandate so strong that he's willing to veto the NDAA? I will note, uh, just to be very, very clear here, what we saw, what uh, what we think happened here is uh, Republicans in Congress have decided that they rather uh, f rather fight against the health and well-being of our troops than protecting them. And we believe that it is a mistake what we saw, uh, what we saw happen on the NDAA as it relates to the vaccine mandate. He said specifically on Thanksgiving that he was going to count the votes to see if there were enough votes to do anything during the lame duck. Has he counted the votes? Has he made any determination? Look, I don't have any determination uh, f to share with you at this time. What I can say is the president is committed doing to our Do communities. You to make a determination on votes in the lame duck. Uh, look, the look, there's there's a lot happening right in the next couple of weeks. I just said whether this happens in the next three weeks or beyond, uh, this is continues to be a priority. Okay. Karine, sorry to push again one more time to follow up on Kristen and Catherine. I hear what you're saying that the president has always and will always push for. I think the difference is that he himself went a step further and said in response to whether that would happen during the lame duck session, he said, I got to make that assessment as I get in and start counting the votes. Mm -hmm. So I guess my question is, I know you said a determination yeah. hasn't been made, but has he started counting the votes? Are there conversations between him and lawmakers about where they stand? So look, the president has always been very clear. Uh, you know, I get the question, and I just answered, answered it and said, don't have a determination for you at this time. But what I can say is, uh, it doesn't matter if it's the next three weeks or beyond, the president is going to continue to fight for this. Question to him was specifically about these next three weeks. I, so I hear I you, and I, I actually, I just answered so I, that question. You know, <laughs> can you just tell us whether that process has started to I, count I, I, I look I don't have a I don't have anything else to preview okay. for you or if that process has 